ain't going to this words to get y'all out on Saturday night. And I do thank y'all for everyone who's on social media who are tuned in at this time for the Radio for Hour broadcast. We're broadcasting live tonight from the Gospel Tabernacle. This will substitute us for our hour of power. So I do invite you to like, share, and invite your friends, amen, to watch this broadcast. Let us pray. Father God, in the most precious name of your son, Jesus, it's one more time that you have allowed your woman, sir, to come to stand before your people. Now, Father God, as I stand, I decrease, and I ask that you would increase in me even the more. Father God, let me walk in the anointing that you have placed upon my life to preach, teach, and to minister the word of God. Now, Father God, I call for my ministry angels who will walk with me down throughout this life. And God, I call for the one who stands on my left hand and the one who stands on my right. And I say, breathe upon me this night. Father God, I ask that they will hold me up and take me through in this place. Now, God, while they are coming, I position the other angels on the four walls of this great church. And God, I command them this night to be ready at a moment's notice to disperse your healings blessing, salvation, prosperity, whatever in this house right now. Yes. Hey, my shut down. Now, God, I grew up into this atmosphere. And just in case Satan has desired to set up this service, I will now, God, and I render every one of his weapons null and void. And I tell that old devil on tonight that it will not work. How about shame? Now I say, Holy, Holy, Holy Spirit, you're welcome in this house. Holy, Holy Spirit, have thine own way. Holy, Holy Spirit, we can do nothing on our own, but it's in you that we live and that we breathe and we have our being. Now, Father God, I commit this service over into your hands, for you do all things well. Now, God, however you choose to use this vessel of clay, I will not take your glory. I won't take your honor, and I won't take your praise. But I leave it at the feet of Jesus this night. And I say, God, we thank you for all things. In Jesus' name we pray. That the redeemer of the Lord say, Amen. Put your hands together. Put them together. Put them together. Put them together. Oh, God, shut up. Put them together. And give God praise. Amen. We thank God. We're going into the word of God. I want you to not get your Bibles. Now, you ask if you have any water to bring you a bottle of water. And I'll put it down here on the podium. Yeah, yeah. We're reading tonight. Get your Bibles. And if you're able to stand with me. Yeah. Please stand. We're going to 2 Corinthians. Yeah, yeah. The second chapter. And the 14th verse. 2 yeah. right. Corinthians. The second chapter. And the 14th verse. I'm giving you a minute to get it. Thank God for our musicians coming in from the party to celebration for the baby and all my other honeybees that have come in from Emmanuel Temple Church on tonight. All right, 2 Corinthians, the second chapter and the 14th verse. When I have one verse, I do ask that we read it in unison and then let us read it collectively. Everybody got it? Amen. Let's read. Now thanks be unto God, which always causes us to triumph in Christ and make it manifest the savor of his knowledge by us in every place. You may be seated. I've been in prayer, meditation, consecration, concentrating on this particular night, this 13th pastoral anniversary Asking God what to deliver for Pastor Thurston's and um, that is little 13th pastoral anniversary. And I thank God, Amen. I put my put a lot of time into what I do. No boast or brag, but I don't like to give people something to have put together. I don't like to give anybody a half done meal. Hallelujah. So I put a lot of thought and I put a lot of prayer into this night because I say God for him to want me to come I got to have some meat when I go Amen. so tonight I've come to decree unto this house what the Lord has given unto me and I oftentimes say I speak to the atmosphere grabbers and if you're an atmosphere grabber in here tonight 
you can grab this word for yourself. All right. All right. Let me read that clause. I'm pulling from the first part of that verse. Now thanks be unto God, be unto which yes. always, that means forever and ever and ever, yes. always causes us to triumph in Christ. Yes. Now this is what the Lord gave me as I began to seek him. I was at work and God dropped this in my heart one day. And I want everybody to look over there at Pastor Little and I want you to point your hands toward them and that's the previous message topic to them. You have won again. You have won again. And when God's word is settled, 
Because what God's word is forever. Still in heaven. Y'all trying to go off man's word. Some of y'all trying to go off woman's word. But honey, I'm going off God's word. Because God's word is settled in heaven. I need y'all to repeat that again. You have won again. Look at Pastor Lula and tell him you have won again. Look at Lady Lula and tell him you have won again. That lets me know that if God allowed you to win before, that he won't allow you to win again. And being a child of God, you got to remember your track record. Some of y'all don't remember your track record. Y'all got to remember your track record. When you are being faced with adversity, you must think on what God has done for you in the past. You got to think about the times when you were going through and then your back was up against the wall and it felt like you weren't going to come out. You got to remember God did it once, then God will do it again. Your track record. All right, all right, all right. I said, if God did it once, yes, He'll do it again. Yes. Somebody said, Why? Because God is the same yesterday, yes. He's the same today, yes. and He's the same forevermore. Yes. Malachi 3 and 6 says, For I am the Lord. Yes. I change now. See, y'all will change. Yes. Y'all will be for me today, and tomorrow, y'all won't even like me. Yes. Y'all may tell me, Thank you. 
awakening that's taking place inside of us. And God is waking us up to let us know it's time for us to believe the word of God. What's wrong with us, Pastor Patterson? We go to church and we read the word of God, but we don't have any application of the word of God. Now, I know I'm talking right. But God, Coming to church for nothing. But when you come to church, you ought to have enough word in you to whatever battle you go into. I already won this battle. I already won this battle. I already won this battle. Hallelujah. See, it's time now. I want to see some application. I'm tired of seeing us come to church and we go back home the same way and we don't apply the word of God. If God said it, that settles it. It's time for us now start acting like we know something. Act like we know the word of God. Act like we are a believer. Act like we're in the kingdom. Act like God done something for us. Act like God done this. Now sit down, let me work, let me work. In order to win, you've been in some kind of battle. You've been in warfare. And the warfare that you are experiencing is not a physical one. Even though you may have the symptoms in your physical body, my leg hurt, my back hurt, my eyes hurt, the attack is a spiritual one. It is a spiritual one because the enemy sees you as a threat to his kingdom. See, if you're not going through any battle, the devil ain't thinking about you. He know you're not a threat to nobody. You're not even a threat to your hands. <laughs> but when you are going through something, the enemy perceives you as being a threat to his kingdom. And he goes to run overtime to do what he can do to get you out of the way. The Bible says, y'all know about the Bible? Do y'all know the Bible? Says the thief comes to steal. Kill. To the stroke. So what he does, he puts out an APB on your life. He said, All points built bulletin. He does everything. He said, Bring them back. I want you to bring them back dead. Bring them back wounded. Bring them back crippled. I don't care how you bring them back. Bring them back blind. Bring them back lame. Just bring them back to me. Oh, God. He does everything. He's working. And what he's trying stop your voice. See, when he realized that your voice is relevant to the kingdom, when he realized that your voice is an instrument in the kingdom, he does everything he can do to silence your voice. You have to wake up and know what the devil is after. He's not after your money. He's not after your husband. He's not after your wife. He's not after your car. He's not after all that junk. He's after your voice that you have in the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Try to do everything that he can to stop you. But how many of you know that it will never, never work? Drop your foot on the devil. The devil, it will never, never work. God has the final say with God in your life. I don't care what you're trying to say about pastor, life, evangelist life, my life. Anybody's life, you don't have a final say about my life. And I can stand, I can say to the pride, you do not have a final say about my life. You can say what you want to say, but honey, God, I pay you a bit more attention than a cat in the moon. Just keep right on top. Y'all can save your voice. Because God said, He got the final say over your life. You want me to die, you want me to get out of the way, but it will never happen. No. Psalms 118 and 17 declared, I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. I shall not die, but tell your name, I shall live. You better speak life over your own life. Open your mouth and say, I shall live. Lift your hands up and agree in this house, I shall live. 
will. God is not through with you yet. You got some work that you got to do. You are in a battle. And a battle has been fought. And the good news, the battle has been won by Jesus Christ. Do y'all know Jesus out there? Some of y'all want to find out that we need to have an altar call. Do I need to stop right now and have an altar call? Everybody here know Jesus? Everybody know Jesus? Everybody know Jesus in the house? It's already been won by Jesus. He won the battle by the shedding his blood on the cross at Calvary. Yeah. 
never lose. I'm talking about Jesus. I'm talking about Mary's baby. I'm talking about the son of David. I'm talking about the one who was, who was crucified on the cross at Calvary. I'm talking about that champion. Do you know who the champion is? Oh, yes. First John 4 and 4 says, Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Y'all yeah, worried about who in the world. I'm not worried about who in the world. I just want to make sure I got the greater one on the inside of me. Y'all want to say something out here. Because I feel like flying right about now. Y'all worried about what's on the outside. But honey, when you got the greater one on the inside of you, you don't worry about the naysayers. You don't worry about the people talking about you. You don't worry about the people scandalizing your name. You don't worry about the people saying, Yeah. 
you and not to harm you. Plan to give you hope and a future. See, God said you can't go nowhere. You can't die. You cannot get out of the picture because you have not fulfilled the plans that I have for your life. No matter what you go through with, you will always win. The Lord said in his word, I will never leave you. No the Lord said unto us, glory, hallelujah. God said to the champions, he said that when you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And he said, glory be to God. He said, and I will be with thee. He said, and through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee.
Well, you have one. Let me read this a little bit. Let me get out of here. You want out every obstacle that Satan has put in your way. Somebody ought to shout right there. No. We don't get a good pain when we get out of Ruby. Oh my God. What time is it? Hallelujah. You have one. I like what the song writer say. Some people have even doubted that you are waiting. Some people even doubted. Yeah. That you and me. They saw you stretched out on the stretcher. They doubt. Yeah. Y'all ain't talking right. Yeah. When they know you had to go in the hospital, yeah. they doubt. Yeah. Yeah. That you were going to come out of the hospital. Yeah. They thought the undertaker was going to get your body. Yeah. But glory, hallelujah. Yeah. Right, you can yeah. tell the devil I won again. Yeah.
change the temper. Thank you. If y'all know y'all enjoying it, yes, okay, y'all, let's mellow. I love the Lord tonight. I had to come out of a form of fashion. I would have stayed home a bit on my bed, drinking some iced tea, eating a sandwich. But I spared my stomach to do the work of the Lord. Hallelujah. You learn in life that something's more important than evil. Thank you, y'all. You as y'all know, y'all just join in and sing a little bit for us, please. Well, I'm on the telephone, I don't care. Let your spirit fall. That's a hard to sing. And dedicate to the littles tonight. Come on, baby. Come on, honeybees. Come on, my honeybees. Hallelujah. Come on. Dedicate to the little. We're going home. I don't promise that, but I told everybody you're welcome. Come on. 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 Come on.
And to you, you have won You did it again Over and over Time after time I could see my way out But you, yeah He's Jesus All by himself, y'all I'm getting excited Thinking about your goodness How you keep on Get away from me